Today we are on video number two of the Rutland Car Show presented by the Rave Car Club. Let's get into it. Vroom vroom. We'll start this video off with a 69 Mustang Mach 1. And it is looking really good. Hold the steering wheel on this car. I don't believe that would be an original, but uh, you guys can correct me if I am wrong. Now we're looking at uh, Maverick, uh, Ford Maverick. I believe this is the Stallion edition because of the um, sticker that you'll see in a second on the side. Um, I am a bit confused by the tail lights because it doesn't look like any Maverick that I have seen um, in pictures, but this could be a special one. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking 75, 77 um, would be the, the age range for this car, and it is a really nice looking Maverick. Staying with the Ford theme, we're on to this uh, Ford, uh, I believe it's F100 pickup. Late 60s, and it is really great. You know, the, the paint and body uh, on this truck are awesome. The rims are you know, outstanding. They go really nicely um, with the rest of the truck. And there we go. Yep. Excellent, excellent truck. And here we're looking at a 71 Olds Vista Cruiser. Uh, well, okay, that's not the Olds Vista Cruiser. This is the Olds Vista Cruiser. Now, um, as it says, three 442s. Four uh, this is a clone. Uh, it said at the bottom of that, so you might want to uh, you know, slow that down and check it out. But this is a clone of the Vista Cruiser 442 station wagon. This is uh, awesome. I love uh, the sunroofs I guess you'd call it I don't know what you call those things um, but that's what made the Vista Cruiser the Vista Cruiser I gotta believe that if they brought a, a station wagon back like this you know people would be buying them up but hey that's just me I would be buying them up this is a great great car the the color scheme on it the the whole package of this is just really, really nice. And now we're looking at this uh, 57 Bel Air. Very nice interior. Very nice exterior. Now we're looking at a 72 Chevy C20 Cheyenne Super. I'm assuming the Cheyenne, there the Super was an indication of four-wheel drive, maybe. Um, C20 would have been a three-quarter ton truck. This is a really nice looking uh, C20. Pause that and read more about uh, what this truck is. Super clean. And we're on to another Mustang. This is a 67. 289. Very nice convertible.
love the dash on this car. I believe this would be a Hudson Terraplane. The only reason I believe it's that, and I'll show you it to you in a, in a minute. Not great, great looking uh, car, whatever it may be. And that's why I'm thinking it's Hudson Terraplane. Love the suicide doors on these old, uh, old rides. Uh, this is a really interesting truck that I hope I learn more about at some point. Um, this is a 64 Chevy Timberliner. Uh, Timberliner, uh, these trucks, not a whole lot made. They were factory four-wheel drives back in, you know, the 60s when a lot of these were outsourced. But this was a Colorado Forestry Service truck specifically made for them um, out in the you know wilderness of Colorado great looking truck hope learn more uh, now we're looking at this uh, 53 Chevy 3100 pickup street rod saw there it had a Corvette engine super curl I mean it's got a bit of a rat rod feel to it you know uh, but a lot nicer than a lot of rat rods. Now we're going to be getting into the Outcast Car Club uh, cars. We've seen most of these before. Uh, Subaru WRX. Do you love the rims on this one? Have this Honda Civic Coupe that we're coming on right here, and then this is a Civic hatch with an Integra front end. Acura Vigor, Subaru Baja. And this is one that I've not seen um, with the, the Outcast Car Club. Are we take a little look here. This is a Mitsubishi Lancer that the owner has done a lot of upgrades to and we're now looking at an Eagle Talon TSI all-wheel drive. This was the top of the line you could get for the Eagle. Uh, platform mates would be the Mitsubishi Eclipse, Dodge Laser, I'm uh, sorry, Dodge, oh can't remember Dodges, uh, Plymouth Laser, you know, whole slew of cars. This is the Eagles, um, and it is, I think, one of the best looking. Uh, 51 Chevy Hot Rod. This is also a part of the Outcast Car Club. I have looked at this before, but it's definitely worth looking at again. Not saying any of you other guys that you're not you know, worth looking at again. Just. Sweet car. And now we're looking at a 67 Camaro. You know this is a 67 because it's got the vent windows and the tail lights. There's a few other things that make, you know, that you can differ into the, the Camaro years, but uh, those are two really good indicators. Chevy Vega, we've looked at this thing before. It has had some upgrades since the last time we saw it. So do take a bit of a closer look at this. Seventy four Camaro that we have seen in several different shows. Again, I think this has had some upgrades since the last time we've seen it as well. This is a 
is a 25th anniversary Camaro, which would make it a 92. Z28. Really, really nice car. I love the uh, wing uh, spoiler, you, you know, I guess you'd say, in the back. That was something that was specific to the 25, uh, 25th anniversary. Uh, a few other details. Really nice looking car. And finally, for uh, last two cars, this nice uh, 55 Bel Air. Super clean inside and out. Love those rims. And this Chevy Delivery. We have looked at this at other shows as well. If I can remember which one, I will post it uh, in here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this second video from the Rutland Area Car Show um, presented by the Rave Car Club. If you want to know more about uh, them, put a link in the description. Um, hope you, if you're not a subscriber, Please uh, hit that subscription uh, button as well as the notification bell so you know when new videos are going to be uploaded. Uh, finally, uh, stick with all of our social media as well. Facebook, Instagram, and I always forget about Twitter because I'm not that great at it. be having a video uh, coming out shortly that's going to, you know, uh, explain some things that are going on and... Um, That'll probably be on our you know Thursday car chat with you know Kip. So have a day. Hopefully it's a good one.